You do not need anyone's permission to feel good about yourself. And you don't need their permission to feel bad either. How are you guys doing today? This is Harry with another one of my videos. And I'm noticing that I'm getting like close to 100 views, video views every day. So I'm wondering to myself, who's watching my videos and not pressing subscribe? Is it that? Or are there are a few subscribers that just keep watching it over and over again. If you're out there, I just want to tell you thank you. I would appreciate if you commented or something or maybe you listen to me on the go i actually just finished facebook messaging someone who actually watches my videos and they asked me a question about something which i think i'm going to address soon when i get a chance but in the meantime i want to just let you guys know this you do not need anyone's permission to feel good about yourself and you do not need anyone's permission to feel bad. What I'm saying is that your mood depends on you. You are the cause and effect of your mood. No one can stop you either. Now, I know that in the job environment, job environment, a lot of people, they get very stressed out because they need their job and they get marginalized and treated horribly and affected by totalitarianism and corporate fascism. And, uh, corporate dictatorships. I could say a lot about those because corporations sometimes marginalize their employees. The truth of the fact that the matter is your job needs you more than you need it. But the only problem and the only reason why you're not shown why you're needed so much is because you're disposable. You want to know why you're disposable? Because you're easily replaced. You can be easily replaced. You do you know why you're easily replaced? Because your skills are common. What you can do, I can find just about a half a million people who can do the same thing. I can find a half a million people who can do the same thing. So how do you become worth more? How do you become more efficient? How do you become more desirable? Think outside the box. You know what I've been saying for a long time? I've been telling people, I don't care how good your job is. If you have a good job, right? Let's just suppose, I don't know what certain people's definition of good is. Let me just throw a figure out there. Let's suppose you make $50,000 a year. To some people, that's not a lot of money. Some people, they make way under that. So that's a, that's a come up. But let's suppose you make $50,000 a year and you're doing okay, you're paying all your bills. You should still do something on the side, regardless. I don't care if it's something as small as bringing back cans of soda. Find a way to make value out of your money. Stop throwing these nickels in the trash. Do something. You think that everybody you see at a bottle return is poor? Nope. 
And I've shown you this in a previous video. You see this iPad case? Yeah. I'm auctioning it on eBay for sale. That's another way you can make extra money. Sell items on eBay. Let's just suppose you get started and you only make $20 a week. That's $80 a month. And if you don't touch it, it gets better. So you make $80 a month. Or you make $100 a month for 12 months and you've made $1,200. But it gets better. Anyway, I want to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you comment, share, like. But most importantly, subscribe. Oops. Thank you. Have a good one.